Hello and welcome back to How Tech TV. Today I'll be doing a review of a company and a different products they sell. Uh, it's going to be a lot different from you know the How Tech TV general uh, videos, but uh, this is a company that you really need to watch out for. Um, uh, how can I say it? They are suspicious uh, with a lot of the things that they do. And it, uh, I'll leave it at that. I'll, I'll let you decide what uh, you think about this uh, so-called English company, uh, PP Games UK. Now, a relative of mine bought a Nintendo DS Lite and a few games for their child for Christmas. And I asked them where they bought it from because right now, uh, everywhere sold out of DS Lites, everywhere sold out of every, pretty much every console. Um, and the only places you can get them are expensive places and I thought well you know it's it, it, do you really want to pay that much uh, for the product uh, right now because I mean like <laughs> you could have bought it months ago for cheaper and it's um, yeah they said the website um, and I checked out and um, straight off it's a suspicious website um, to the untrained eye, perfectly fine Yakuri website, uh, they sell products, blah blah blah, uh, just like any other website, but it, a lot of it is just, it's basic trickery um, on uh, some people's behalf. They, um, I'm, I'm going to say, you know, some fraudulent websites will use these tips and tricks, these kind of things to try and trick uh, most of the general public, and it works, uh, into thinking that they are a genuine website. So, um, I'm going to unbox this product, show you around it, let you make your own decision on this, and uh, leave it at that. However, I will also be making a, um, a pretty big article on this on my website. Um, not on this company specifically, or companies which uh, I would class as suspicious, um, but I will be doing an article on, for the general public, for anyone who is looking to buy presents, stuff for themselves, anything, uh, on online. Um, and this is going to be uh, an article to tell you things to look out for. Um, to check whether these websites are fraudulent or not, or are suspicious or not, um, I'm not going to I'm not going to make accusations of specific websites. I'm going to leave that up to you to decide. Um, but yeah, I will have this video on PP Games UK specifically, and it, then I'll have an article on general stuff. So this will include screenshots of websites, uh, things to look out for. This will include. Um, packaging things to look out for. This will include things on products to look out for. Um, so yeah, a, a lot of the things that you can do if you've already bought the product, I'll just say this straight off, is uh, get one of your friends who has the product themselves as well from a proper retailer uh, that you that you know is 100% trustworthy. Um, I'm going to say straight off for comp companies like Argos, HMV, um, Tesco's, Asda, Morrison, you know, the big, big companies, um, and compare them uh, in detail, in depth. Just compare them. That's that's the that's the easiest thing if you've already bought the product. But let's get in and unbox this product from PP Games UK, and it, um, I'll I'll let you make your own decisions. Um, sorry if the uh, angle is bad, and sorry if you can't see very well. Uh, and I'm in a rush to get this out. So this is the this is the front of the box. First of all, you can see straight off there is no company branding on the box itself. Um, generally, with a lot of websites, they will have some sort of um, uh, branding on the box. A a big example of that would be Amazon, um, but that company is just as bad. Um, so yeah, the first things to look for, obviously, the packaging is really, really bad quality. Second of all, you've got the customs declaration here, um, and it's declaring it. Now, remember, we said this was a Nintendo DS Lite um, with three games. Uh, so what they are declaring it, instead 
of a product which would need to be taxed by customs in the UK by uh, HMRC. They have declared it as a gift uh, with a value of 35 US dollars. Now, uh, we all know that the Nintendo DS Lite is worth at least um, 100 pounds on its own, which is, I mean, I'm going to do some uh, just quick uh, conversion. It's around 170, 180 US dollars. Uh, on its own, without the games, um, and you know, we'll not even get started on on the value of the games. So you can see that their customs declaration itself is uh, completely just uh, a lie. Uh, let, let's say that. Also, it's from Hong Kong. Now, th if this is a UK company, a UK-based company, they should have some th uh, sort of uh, warehouse, some sort of. Um, place in the UK where they have it stocked so that you know they can get it shipped sooner um, and if they're if they're sending everything from Hong Kong you you almost know for sure that uh, it is based like it's based in Hong Kong uh, this company itself is also a uh, located in Shenzhen China um, which I in the article I will express how uh, Shenzhen China is Probably the biggest place uh, where they make fraudulent products. Uh, as a as a reviewer, I'm getting lots of emails from companies from Shenzhen, China, trying to sell me a faulty, uh, faulty, um, fake products. You know, fake beats, fake. Um, I've even had fake uh, Dyson. Uh, what do you call them? Dyson fans, the fanless fans and stuff. Right. So let's get back on the topic. Um, Completely illegal customs declaration uh, is from Hong Kong when it's said to be a UK based company. Uh, packaging is bad, obviously you can see the internal packaging is also terrible. Uh, very, very uh, disgraceful packaging for something that's getting shipped from abroad. Um, so yeah, so what came with it was three games, a, a charger for the DS Lite and it's this Nintendo DS Lite um, okay so here we've got the products that come with it in the box uh, to start off it came with um, a travel adapter now this is for the DS Lite I'm guessing uh, well I'm saying I'm guessing I know inside it's got a two pin um, this product is um, all I can say is this is the kind of thing you will get in Shenzhen, China. This is the kind of thing that's created in those factories. Um, any company really located in Shenzhen, China sells products like these. Uh, they they try and sell them as as DS Lite uh, chargers and stuff, and they try and sell them off cheap. Um, that is pretty much an explanation of what you will find at Shenzhen, China. Uh, no branding, uh, just a, a the travel charger with the um, cheap little DS style uh, plug. Um, the boxes, the boxes, the games themselves. Now I'm not gonna have to risk anything in saying that these are 100% fake. There's nothing about these that is real whatsoever. I don't even need to open these boxes to tell you that these are fake. Uh, starting off with the Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, game, uh, cheap paper cover, um, colours are all washed out, you know, they haven't used gloss paper, you can see there that the ink on the printing uh, has smudged, so instead of a white Nintendo DS bit on the side, you've got a little pink smudge here, uh, everything, everything is just washed out, I mean, uh, the words are hardly even recognisable, um, and I've lived in England all my life, I know English well enough, uh, to know that that looks nothing like English, uh, even though it supposedly is. Um, so Harry Potter Years 1 to 4, uh, not standard box, um, which is the biggest giveaway on here. The official Nintendo seal, um, normally it should say uh, original Nintendo seal of quality. It does on this one, if you get a real one over here, of the uh, Star Wars Lethal Alliance. Uh, it's got that there. Perfectly circular 
official Nintendo seal of quality and over here you've got a oval uh, official Nintendo seal uh, which is definitely not official and it's definitely not a seal of quality because this is 100% fake. Um, and last but not least Star Wars uh, Episode 3 The Clone Wars. Uh, this is probably the best fake uh, out of all of the three games uh, however it is still uh, clearly a, a fake. <laughs> um, yeah, the it just the quality isn't up to scratch. That all the all the paper used is non gloss, um, and I'm not talking about super glossy photo printer uh, paper. I'm talking about a sort of a, a high quality, slightly glossed paper that they always use. Um, in fact, you know, I can take I'll, I'll take this out one. Uh, I'll take out this one up here. Um, it's just it's, it's slightly glossed, so it's a higher quality um, paper. And it, none of these are. These are the cheapest paper from the cheapest factory using the cheapest printer, using cheap stuff from Shenzhen, China. Uh, I'll put that to one side and let's move on to the Nintendo DS. Okay, so the Nintendo DS Lite. I don't have my Nintendo DS uh, box with me at the moment. I will probably go and find it. Um, but I'm first off, I'm not sure that they always say Nintendo uh, with the O being the logo. I'm also not sure that um, this uh, font is correct. I think it's a very incorrect font compared to... Oh, I'll pull this back in. Um, it, yeah, it looks like it looks like it's a more, almost a bold version of the correct one. Uh, as you can see here as well, the uh, double O logo of the Nintendo DS uh, is black and grey, whereas this is just double black. Um, yeah, oh, let's flip it around. You c you can tell straight off that this is. Um, very suspicious boxing, uh, very suspic suspicious packaging. Uh, I mean, they've got a sticker here. You wouldn't find that. Uh, you wouldn't find a sticker over the barcode on a legitimate uh, Nintendo DS Lite. So we'll take it out of the box, which is a very suspicious, suspicious box uh, on the inside as well. So very, very cheap packaging. Um, here you, you've got your charger. And if you take it out, um, you know, the cheapest unmolded um, boxing I've seen um, with any sort of electronic goods um, in my life. So, yeah, all you get is the travel charger, a Nintendo DS instruction booklet, which, uh, after flicking through a few times, uh, not only me, but other people have pointed out a billion different um, uh, grammar errors. Uh, so again, just like the charger that we saw earlier, this is a travel charger and this is the cheapest little charger that you will find it. Um, in the world, pretty much. This, these are the the kind of things that you will expect from that area uh, of China, Shenzhen, China. Right. Uh, so yes, as a DS, it does feel and look slightly convincing, um, but I mean, from experience, this it. it just from experience with everything else um, and ha checking around a few of the places um, on the actual DS and comparing it uh, I am almost convinced uh, that this isn't real uh, I'm not going to say for sure whether it's real or not because I can't I can't say I don't know um, however sorry I'm saying um, I, I, I really I'm in a rush um, so comparing it to two DS's uh, of the exact same sort of range, the DS Lite range, uh, 
yeah there's a lot of things that are completely different and I will zoom in and show you those right now so I'm sorry if this isn't uh, completely easy to see um, you know I don't have the best angle for filming this here but we're looking at two real legitimate DS's compared to the fake one the fake one is the top one and the two uh, bottom ones are the real ones so as you can see straight off the uh, printing of the volume and it, uh, the headphone sort of logos don't look as high quality and they are a different colour um, in terms of like like the white between uh, these two blacks uh, so it doesn't look to be as high quality also, the holes that have been cut on uh, the headphone jack and the volume switch, um, again, don't seem to be as high a quality, uh, and you would only really notice, because they are, I, I have to admit, they are quite a high quality. Um, however, when you compare it to a real one, uh, if you look closely, you can see noticeable differences. Um, the other thing to notice here is if we separate them slightly I don't know if you can see that if if I uh, move one to one side and it's uh, just show you two uh, the section here where the cover for the uh, old Game Boy Advance cartridges go is uh, it doesn't fit as perfectly as the real Nintendo DS one does um, uh, as you can see, this uh, goes down further, whereas this, uh, on the fake one, you can see a noticeable gap between this cover and uh, the bottom of the DS. Also, if I pull them out, uh, with the fake one it's uh, substantially harder and it feels less smooth to re uh, remove it, you can also notice uh, that they are different connectors completely completely different connectors uh, the fake one features a sort of um, the the connections the metal connections are almost shrouded so uh, to, to to improve um, the strength of them uh, whereas the real DS one it uses basic just uh, a, a line of connections which you would connect with your uh, game this leads me to believe that uh, the actual uh, materials used are a lot lower quality as well um, compared to the real one and it's uh, we all know that the real one you know you don't have problems with the connection so the the quality of materials used is is not a problem whereas with this one I can feel it uh, definitely becoming a problem now looking at the bottoms um, <laughs> lol not funny um i've covered up my code um i'm not really sure if it's necessary to sh to cover it up but i have just in case um as you can tell uh you know this one uses a matte back this one uses a gloss back i'm not sure if that's in the basic design however it's it's good to point it out anyway just in case the layout of the uh information on the back is a, a lot different uh, and this has all of the you know don't bin it if it's broken uh, and all of that this one also features a CE mark whereas the fake one uh, as far as I can see does not feature a CE mark um, C a CE mark if you don't know is it's a a uh, mark that goes on products to pretty much say that they've passed quality control uh, in Europe. So this is a European quality control um, logo. Uh, it it might be that um, this one isn't a European version. Uh, I, I leave it up to you uh, to decide that. So the screws themselves, if you... Uh, look down the holes you can't see them however I can and they are using uh, basic standard four pin a uh, four pin uh, Phillips head screwdrivers whereas these use the um, sort of the three 
hair. How how can I how can I say it? Um, it, it it's like the three pronged uh, screw heads. Uh, so that is a that is a big thing to notice as well. Um, as well as here, the uh, screws are a lot lower quality on this one. These are, again, as I said, things that you will not notice if you do not uh, have this sort of trained eye uh, to look out for these things. And again, uh, the holes cut where the screws go are of substandard uh, quality when it comes to DS lights. Also, these uh, areas where you pull the stylus out, this is a simple click in uh, using the stylus head um, so it doesn't use any sort of internal uh, clicky bits on the DS light making the DS light uh, less likely to suffer from broken parts. Um, on the other hand it's this I mean you can you can you can uh, hear that straight away whereas a lot more smooth. Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but this is almost like it's script. It, if you take two pieces of, of cheap plastic and rub them together, that's what that sounds like. This is, uh, I mean, higher quality plastic straight off. And if we pull the styluses out, um, I mean, I'm not sure if you can see on camera, but completely different colour black. Um, uses what seems to be similar to the same mode. This has uh, this has what seems to be four injection points, this has three. Uh, so the actual mould itself has uh, four points where they uh, introduced the plastic, whereas the real Nintendo one features three. Um, it could just be the the uh, that that stylus is actually a real one, but it's made from a different factory, which uses different moulds. Um, I'm not gonna really say, but yes. Uh, from the top, you can see as well uh, that the buttons, cheaper plastic. I'll, I'll, sorry, I will remove this game from the real one. That is a real game. Um, yeah. All right. One second. So what you can see here straight off, buttons are completely different. These are a lot higher quality with glossy R and L. These are non-glossy R and L, um, and the buttons have a lot less travel. The uh, DS charger uh, port, the charging port is uh, wonky and it also looks um i'd say i'd say the coloring of the uh connection looks almost rusty which is is not a good uh, sign at all and as you can see that again um oh, i'll just zoom zoom you in so that you can see it uh he, this uses the three so, uh, what would you call them? I can't remember the name. But this uses the three-pronged screw, whereas here you can see it is clearly a four-pronged screw. Um, take it how you want, pretty much. Um, yeah, let's time. It's time to open them up and compare them from the front. So. The real one is to the left, the fake one is to the right. The buttons, uh, the printing on the buttons is completely wrong. It's also using a lot of smoother buttons compared to the almost textured buttons of the real one. Uh, the plastic screw hole covers are a lot less... Um, uh, what, what would you call them? Uh, they don't fit in as well as the real ones and they are a lot softer uh, so they are a lot lower quality rubber. As you can see as well uh, the holes were screwed for the speaker uh, lower quality you can see the speakers are pretty much through the holes uh, it's that bad. 
Um, so I shall uh, turn them on. You, you can see straight off that all the all the um, all the the gaps between the plastic are worse. Um, yeah. So this one. It goes straight in, and it, it seems to be the same software. I, I mean, you know, it can't be that hard to get the software. Um, but I'm trying to see if I can see any noticeable difference in uh, screen um, quality. No, I can't see any. I can't see any noticeable difference in the quality of the screens. Um, however, uh, that doesn't really mean anything when the rest of it's fake. Another thing to point out again is the mic holes. Uh, the mic name, the mic word, has been uh, pressed a lot further in on here than it has on there, uh, making it look a lot more disgusting. So I'll put you back on the tripod and I will um, say goodbye. So uh, that's all I have to say about the matter. Um, sorry if I'm not in focus. Uh, I found it hard to get into focus right now. Um, I can I can blatantly state that the DS games are definitely fake. Um, that's the the rest of it. I'll leave it for you to decide. Uh, I've pointed out the differences, um, and it, uh, I leave it at that. I can tell you uh, straight off, it's probably not a good idea to use this website and buy from them, unless you want cheaper fake products that will break in. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've pointed out the things to look for uh, to do with this company. Uh, I'll leave most of it up for you to decide. I'm not going to say my opinion on the matter. Um, but yeah, uh, this will be the first in hopefully a series of videos uh, going around at many different companies trying to point out what they are doing that's suspicious. Because, you know, I don't know if I've already said this in the video, uh, but, you know, this affects me as a reviewer as well. Uh, this is why I'm doing this. It doesn't matter whether I tell you that uh, these Sony headphones are the best headphones I have ever used, uh, which uh, it, I'll just I'll just state uh, straight off that they are, um, which is why I'm getting people them for Christmas. Um, but yeah, it doesn't matter whatever I say as a reviewer. If you are buying products which you think are real and turn out to be fake, your opinion on me, my reputation is on the line as a reviewer. Uh, by doing this, what I am doing is pointing out that the products that you have bought might not be real products. And if you buy the fake product thinking it's real and it's terrible and you don't like it, and I've said that it's good, that affects my reputation because that means that that person is going to think that I'm lying and that I'm trying to just sell a product. This is needed, this is necessary for me as a reviewer to run and it, um, uh, be uh, successful in, in, in the, the industry. I have, to, I have to tell you that this stuff isn't real um, or that it's suspicious looking and that it might not be real because if you buy it and it's not real but you think it's real uh, I, I think you get you get the point. Um, so yeah, this will hopefully be a video and a long line of videos um, telling you what's real and what's not, what's suspicious and um, what's safe. So yeah, I'll say goodbye now. That has been a review of PP Games UK and the products that they sell and um, stuff to look out for with them. Don't forget to head over to the website, and if you haven't already done so, bookmark it, because there's a lot of um, 
stuff on there that you won't find on the Haltech TV network anywhere else. Um, especially this article that I want to do. Uh, this is going to be a pretty long article and I'm going to have it featured on the, the front page for quite a while. Um, yeah, uh, if you want to contact me with any questions regarding this issue or anything else regarding any technology, uh, use the link in the description box below that will take you to my submission box. Uh, if you have any business uh, emails, any um, anything regarding business, contact me using the email down below. Um, other than that, this has been a How Tech TV video. Don't forget to subscribe, do everything that I've just asked you to do, and goodbye.